He's, he's too cute for me to not. <laughs> What Cabana is, I, I guess it's gonna be hard for me to say this. At the same time, it's going to make sense, I hope. The concept of Cabana is makes perfect freaking sense. Would I live full time in Cabana or in a, this layout and this design? This is the beginning of the vlog to uh, the Cabana van. Me going back into van life. What? Uh, I'm back in the van life for two nights. Brought a photographer with me. She's gonna make appearances throughout the vlog. You can maybe give her experiences as well. Uh, it's a dear friend of mine, uh, Samantha. Hi there. Oh. And Leo. And Leo. Uh, it's, by the way, Cabana is dog friendly. Leo, you wanna say hi? You wanna say hi, buddy? <laughs> hi, Leo. We are gonna be staying in the van and uh, I'm actually kind of using uh, Samantha as not only as my in-house photographer, but as my assistant, she's gonna help me with a lot of stuff uh, that I need help with because I've been just crazy busy with work. Uh, we're in Seattle and our first stop, I had to come here. By the way, the, the team at Cabana has been absolutely amazing. And they gave, while I was doing a tour of the Cabana van, uh, I guess Emma, which is their marketing manager, right? PR, Emma? Yeah. yeah, she gave Samantha a bunch of places that we need to go check out. Uh, that we can sleep at, etc., and so forth. So, uh, right now I'm gonna pan the camera around and we're at a cool spot. What are we at? We're at Cary Park, Cary Park, yeah, Cary Park. And look at this guy, look at this oh, view. The view is incredible. Oh, and not to mention, we are, I'm sitting, we're sitting in the van, <laughs> I'm in the van, and look at this. You guys might not be able to see this, but those are blue skies, first of all, in Seattle, and second of all. That's downtown Seattle with, I believe, Rainier in the background, Mount Rainier. That's like the epic shot that everybody gets for the Seattle shot. Now there's no moon, but we're gonna we're gonna actually sit here and wait for sunset, and then uh, then we might go try to find parking. Is that what we're doing? Yeah, I have a great spot. You you have a great spot already. I, we have, yeah. we've been in the van ten minutes. She freaking gave me the perfect spot to park. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, we're gonna be right on the water. Oh, we're going down by the water, and we're gonna talk about our our what we find out in the van in the cabana van and why I think this is a great idea for a lot of people to do. So stay tuned for all of that coming up in this vlog. It's gonna be phenomenal. And I'll end uh, this little section with, if you are new to the channel, consider subscribing. What I do here is obviously van life related materials, how to's, tips, all that good stuff, as well as building tips, DIY. Uh, I do show a lot of builders, so I talk about building tips. I talk about expert, uh, just know-hows from actual people that work in the business, from solar, to uh, plumbing, etc., and so forth, yada, yada, yada. And I just built out an overlanding rig, which I'm going to be taking on adventures and travel. So I'll be doing fun, cool, adventurous vlogs. A lot of stuff moving forward in the tiny home space and community. Yay! All right, guys, we are actually parked up for the night. Hi, Sam. Hi. Uh, I just put their blackout curtain shade thingamajiggy up that I think we're, we're on a road that's like, the bay. Right next to the bay or the sound, I guess, is what they call it. I, guess, I don't know. They actually recommended this spot. It's legal parking. Yeah. Totally legal. But we're going to eat some dinner right now. We got this uh, pizza. Dude, I actually haven't even opened it. You want to open it? Yes, I'm so <laughs> hungry. I got garlic bread and um, I got us... Oh, look at that. They sealed it. Fancy dancing. Here we go. Bougie. Big reveal ready. I want to see this because they talked about these slices. Holy and... shit! <laughs> <laughs> uh, those are some big slices. Oh. Yeah, so we're going to actually uh, sit down and eat some dinner. Uh, it's nighttime, so I can't really show you outside. But in the morning, I will show you where we park. I'm going to treat this just like a hotel on wheels. I'm going to hope for the best on this one. Yeah, I'm ready to eat. I'm starting. Okay, you can eat. Go ahead. <laughs> Good morning. I don't know if I said this last night in the vlog. Did I say where we parked last night? I don't know. I was tired. I apparently was out cold. Well, you know, the pizza didn't help. <laughs> I, ate, I ate a lot of pizza. Those pizzas were big. And we actually didn't finish all four slices. Anyways, I'm a big fat fatty is what I am. But this is where we are. This is why I also brought Sam. Because she's a photographer. Yeah. <laughs> and she wanted to do some photos of the van. It, it's like kind of an overcast day. There's mountains off there in the background. Olympic mountains. Again, I'm gonna treat this like a hotel. In hotels, if anybody has stayed in 
in like Marriott's or Hilton's or Hampton Inn's or those are all pretty much the same. You know, you get coffee. You know, I'm gonna turn these lights on so we can see. Yeah, go ahead. These ones are gonna turn on brighter too. There, there you go. go, thank you. Down in here, they give us coffee uh and little coffee maker you know they said they're always like upgrading and making things better making things easier for us i will give you guys later on today when we when i wake up and i do have my coffee i'll give you guys like kind of a mini tour because i actually did a full tour with this company with the owner scott oh we ran the heat last night too it got cold right we set it to like 68 and it was fine but i'm gonna have some of this coffee while sam sets up oh great they actually do have two coffee oh, mugs so what are you doing it's just oh. gonna be a good photo. All right. She's just excited about a photo, and I'm trying to make a video for you guys. <laughs> this is the difference between a photographer and a videographer, everybody. I'll show you guys this, because it, it's gonna be taken down later, but they had this as like a blackout curtain thingamajiggy. I think I had that in last night's video. You know, I'm gonna give them a couple suggestions, because, you know, coming from a guy that lived in a city for years, I like the fact that you they, that they still can make this into a room still. I do like that fact. They have Wi-Fi on board. It's Cabana Guest, but we're in kind of a bad area, so there really wasn't greatest Wi-Fi, so we couldn't watch any TV last night, but it's okay. I could have connected it to my hotspot on my phone. We tried that and it would have worked. While in the Seattle area, I decided to take a nice little road trip. It was like an hour outside of Seattle. So these guys right here, which is Momentum Vans. Now, if you don't know who Momentum Vans are, you should because they do phenomenal builds. You guys might be asking yourself, why aren't you touring them? Guess what? I asked them and they don't have a van available for me to tour. Their demo van is actually out being used and they don't have any consumer builds that are ready to be done yet or ready to be toured yet because as soon as a consumer van is done customer van is done it goes right out the door so i have to time it perfectly with these professional van builders van i don't know how much trouble i'm going to get in for this shot but that's the back lot of momentum vans and it's all of the vans they're working on they also just moved into a new shop space so i can't show that off all of that will be coming down the road at some point. Check them out, Momentum Vans. I'm actually, I really like them a lot. We pulled over on the side of the road because we are actually gonna make some dinner and then we're gonna go to uh, some falls. We're doing some touristy stuff is what we're doing, okay? Why not, you know? When in Rome or Seattle, whatever. I kind of also wanted to show kitchen apparatus that's happening and right now uh sam is in the kitchen uh and she's cooking uh some fajitas why not uh this is the kitchen that slides out uh excuse the road noise but we just found this little turn off area that's kind of cool samantha was kind enough to cook some fajitas and this is the outdoor kitchen again excuse the road noise i'm sorry but it comes out i forget how many inches he said i think it was 60 inches is what scott said in the video I did with him, but it has a full on, it's pretty much a full on kitchen. As you can see, she's got the propane, the medic cooktop thingamajiggy. They give you bamboo silverware. <laughs> so I guess it's not silverware, it's bamboo. Uh, bamboo uh, utensils, bamboo plates. They give you pots and pans, and they give you a uh, spatula and a spoon. All the things are in here. There's a way to hook up to water, uh, which we don't have that sink hooked up, but you can. I believe that's an outdoor shower even. So all of this is in the back area of the cabana van. It's nice, it's not so bad. While Sam is cooking, I'm gonna go inside. I'm gonna kind of talk to you guys a little bit about what cabana van is all about. And I'm not trying to sell them. I'm actually gonna give you guys some pros and cons to this. You wanna go in the bed? Go ahead, up, up. There you go, sit. Good boy. I guess actually a pro to this is they are dog friendly. There you go. Hi, buddy. You just gotta pay a little deposit, just like a hotel. Oh, by the way, it, I think in this point of the video, a lot of you guys are probably gonna be asking yourself, is Sam my girlfriend? No, she is not. <laughs> she is, oh, did you just pop? Oh my God. A very good friend of mine, I actually toured her in her Jeep. I think she's actually seeing someone. I don't know if she wanted me to say that on camera, but I don't care. Honestly, a uh, really good photographer, and I felt that, you know, asking her to come on this trip, it could broaden her horizons with uh, photography. 
and such things like that. And really, I just wanted to hang out with this guy right here. This is the truth. That is the truth. Look at look at how cute he friggin' is. Look at that. Neither here nor there, nor is it anybody's really business, but I figured I'd get that out of the way. He's, he's too cute for me to not. <laughs> So listen, what Cabana is, is like, I, I guess it's gonna be hard for me to say this. At the same time, it's going to make sense, I hope. The concept of Cabana is, makes perfect freaking sense. Would I live full time in Cabana? Or in a, this layout and this design? I'm gonna say no. However, what they're trying to do makes all the sense in the world. I think because they're trying to make a van like a hotel so everything that they're doing make it so like the consumer us you guys don't have to do anything and I'll give you an example with this if you rent a van off of let's say outdoorsy because a lot of you in this part of the video are probably saying to yourself well wh how, why don't I just rent a van off of outdoorsy you absolutely 1000% can do that. But if you rent a van off of Outdoorsy, you have to do van life. You have to possibly change change water tanks or fill water tanks. You may have to dump gray water tank. You may have to dump a cassette toilet. Ugh. You may have to change the compost. You may have to like clean out the compost is what I'm trying to say. You may have to do something along those lines that is van life related. If you want that van life experience, then maybe rent something off of Outdoorsy. If you want a hotel on wheels, which is what Cabana is and what it's meant to do, then that's what you want to rent is something like this. They are making it, and again, this is a growing company. This is a company that is just starting out. They're, I think in the first year of, I yeah, it's only been really out for like six months or something like that. For what you're trying to do with it or what like the consumer wants to do with it, this is, probably the most sense to me in my eyes. You have a full shower, right? Which I haven't used yet. I, I should probably do that tonight. Maybe I'll record that for you guys. Not literally, because that's something you don't want to see. And no, I'm not putting Sam in there. I know where you guys' heads are at. Like you have a full shower. Would I make some changes? Yeah. However, the guy that's been in the van life industry, me, for I, I, like five years, right? They are sitting down with me and they're going to pick my brain. They're making a hotel on wheels. That's what their goal and what they're trying to do. They're trying to make it so the consumer can come into the van, not have to worry about water, not have to worry about power, not have to worry about like disposing of tanks or anything of that nature. They don't have to worry about anything like that. So you guys may be asking yourself at this point, then why is the kitchen out the back? Well. I don't know about you guys, but I've spent some time in hotels and it's rare to find a hotel that has a kitchen. You don't typically cook while you're staying in a hotel. The reason I think they did a pullout kitchen out the back is to appease the ones or the appease the people that want to use the van as any van life setting to take it out to the wilderness and enjoy that. I actually think Cabana is the best of both worlds. You have an opportunity to take it out camping and you have the opportunity to be stealthy in a city. I don't know many vans that you can rent on outdoorsy. I'm sure there are some that can do both. So this is really a nice, even hybrid of that. Would I, again, live full time in this? No. But would I live full time in a lot of the vans that I see on or in the market? No, I would not. Would I live full time in a Winnebago? No, I would not. Would I live full time in uh, some of these big professional companies? It's a hit or miss. Could you? Absolutely. You 100% absolutely could live out of this full time. Would I rent it for, let's say, a weekend or uh, let's say you guys, a lot of uh, people that have been following me a long time know that I want to get back into the stand-up comedy world. They have this company in Los Angeles right now. Would I rent their van so I can bounce around from comedy shows all throughout the city? Because anybody that knows LA, Santa Monica is not close to Hollywood or downtown LA or Woodland Hills or Calabasas 
or all those places I just named are kind of all spread out. Would I rent a van, a cabana van, and go from place to place all over the city? Yeah, you bet you're behind I would because it's just easier for me as a stand-up comic to do something like that. It's easy for someone to rent a van, maybe go to their friend's house, hang out at their friend's house, and then have their own separate space to go to if maybe their friend doesn't have a place for them to crash or be or separate yourself. How many times have you guys visited a friend in a different city and you just were like, I wish I had separation from them for like an hour. <laughs> I know because I've dealt with mother myself or even at night when you're just like, I want to just be by myself for the evening, the rest of the evening. I, you know, I love my friend, but I want to get away from them just for, just for the rest of the night. It's like 9 PM. You just want to just get away. That's what Cabana Van offers for you. And you can park in front of their house. No one's gonna call the cops because it's that's the that's you're visiting a freaking friend. That's where I think their concept is going, and that's what they're trying to do. I think that's how I see it at least. Perfect for like I said, comedian, musicians, anybody in the arts and entertainment that want to do like city dwelling, entrepreneurs, for people that like go to a city to do meetings at i just think it's like they have found a niche market that is going to really take off and really do good things and that's why i came up here to do this video that is why i wanted to kind of test out their product because i wanted to make sure that i'm going to put my name and attach it to a brand and a product like this and that's what i do okay i think my ranting is uh, done for right now i'm gonna go check on the fajitas oh by the way let's just spin around and just take a look at this view now i'm probably blown out as all heck with the sun let me go in the shade there it is and this is why i brought sam with me she takes photos of freaking everything way better than i can take photos i like to think that i can do a good photo and have a good eye for it but bringing a photographer, it's just that much better. I'm gonna go eat this fajita. Very kindly, Sam has made. I wonder if they're gonna, if Cabana's gonna use some of these photos on their website. She's done a lot of like really good photos for Cabana. Good morning, guys. Uh, I am uh, waking up. It is a little past 7 a.m. Uh, Sam got up early, early and went to go uh, photograph the city on sunrise. Seattle is a little weird. Now, I'm gonna talk a little bit about this outside the van check this out Seattle I'm gonna talk about it a little bit right now something I just want to kind of mention I don't want to mention this around Sam because I don't want to make her feel bad but like if I if I was doing this you know situation with Cabana by myself it's not like it would have been easier I probably would have parked differently only because I don't know Sam's comfort level when it comes to parking like in a downtown setting. So we, I parked a little bit outside of the city limits, but it wasn't that far, it was like 20 minutes. And this is like, you know, I found this spot on iOverlander, which is pretty easy to find. And the Van Life app and iOverlander are, are really, some really good useful apps. There's a couple others that are out there. What I usually do when it comes to parking is I will find something on maybe iOverlander or I will, uh, you know, maybe find something on even Google Street and then, or Google Maps. And then I will like put a pin there and I'll, I'll street view it. And I'll make sure that, uh, you know, the, the streets and things are, are able to park at. Sometimes I'll even just drive through neighborhoods. Now this one, uh, there's a lot of apartments where I'm at and it's kind of an industrial area. And that's kind of what I try to stick to uh, the best and apartment complexes. I like parking near apartment complexes or even some people do this. I, I've only done it a handful of times, but park in like hotel parking lots. I prefer to stay away from the parking lots. I always have a very uncomfortable sleep there. For some reason, when I park on streets, I sleep extremely well. I'm gonna go find Sam. And uh, I think she was saying that she wanted to make breakfast uh, before we, we return the van. So I'll kind of get a shot of that as well. No, I've already mentioned this before. Not only am I going to like not partner up but i'm going to use cabana again i think it would be a heck of a lot easier as me as a single male or a significant other if a significant other was here like we weren't being out each other's space it would be a little bit easier to move around especially as a single person obviously but like i'm saying like as a significant other you know you're always on top of each other like with a friend it is doable i would say you have to really know your friend really well sam and i know each other but we don't like you don't know someone until you really live in a space and i and i i love sam I, I adore her she's awesome no knock to her whatsoever i think she's amazing i was just saying if i was doing this by myself it would i'd be able to put my stuff where i would want you know what i mean 
I I'm, I think I might, I might be too nice that I try to accommodate everybody and not, I don't know, I don't, I don't know, whatever it is. I would probably, I would use these two, you know, shelves down here. I mean, one would be for camera gear and one would be for my clothing. It's kind of cool, you know. I think I might have actually commandeered uh, this closet mostly. Uh, this they put their towels in here. My drone, my jacket, my jacket. So maybe, maybe, maybe I'm the pain to live with. <laughs> actually, I don't doubt that. <laughs> Sam, you're amazing. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm gonna go find her because she's doing some epic photos right now. Let's I think this might be the first time I'm cooking outside in like a cityscape. Well, I'm not cooking. Sam is, but she wanted to make some eggs this morning. So I'm gonna go make some coffee for us. There's Sam with all of her avocados and eggs and hot sauces and everything else. She's at least cooking with a view. And that's pretty cool, right? Actually, yeah. It all depends Ooh, on... The sun is popping. The sun is popping. Finally, it's supposed to rain today though. It's so weird that people like will cook in the wilderness, but we're cooking, you know, out here with the cityscape. <laughs> oh, there's a kayaker. And there's a kayaker. Heck yeah. I'm gonna get inside. I'm gonna show you guys something. Sam and I talked a little bit about this that we were thinking about using the shower, but you know, it's only been what four, not even 48 hours. It'll be 48 hours at like 3 o'clock today. Seeing how we're, we're returning the van like in the next two hours. I have to drive all the way back home because I have I have a, an appointment in the morning. I was like, I'm going to take a shower at home. As much as we would like to use the shower at, at the cabana, we're not going to use it. However, I just flipped the switch on. I'm going to get in here and you guys can see just how space it is. spacious it is. I might have talked this about, about this before. It's nice as that fan is running, which takes all the steam out. But... May have talked about this before, but uh, they do have. I'll even shut the door. They do have 45 gallons of water on board. They have a vent here at the top, you know, for you know, just for the door purpose, I guess. And they have this mirror, shampoos, conditioners, and then this is the toilet. What's nice is this is a complete separate like wet room. If you need to, you can sit down on the toilet. Boom, there it is. Uh, some TP for everybody. So it's it's actually a pretty spacious shower. It's a little bit like I'm a big guy. Like I do weigh, you know, a little bit. I'm not gonna say my weight. My point is, is you can shower quite comfortably in here. I don't know if I would change this, but their toilet situation is a Thetford, which I actually love. It's a cassette style. But I'm thinking about their they have black water tanks in their newer versions. And you know, you think about what they have to do in regards to hotel accommodations. So that's what I'm saying. The slight changes can be so different when it comes to like having a company that is a rental company that is like like built for hotels, right? When it comes to toilets and water, it's like I would do it differently, like they did it, because they're trying to appease the consumer so when it comes to the toilets they have to dump those cassettes every time the toilet returns and what would you rather do would you rather dump a black water tank or and like have your own septic tank maybe at your facility or would you rather just go in and dump you know a whole bunch of cassettes me personally i'd rather do the black water or the laveo dry flush the laveo dry flush is i think a little bit better it's a little more expensive because you have to pay for the cartridges. However, you get about 15 flushes per cartridge. And if you are the consumer, you'd have to be taught how to change the cartridge, which is like hard and easy, but not really, because it's like, we can handle it, but they're trying to minimize what the consumer has to do. So I'm gonna end this vlog, a little out the back, beautiful <laughs> shot. Seattle skyline, doggy, van life. Cabana style.